In the next series of videos, I'm going to take you through the steps required to take this plain HTML content that you see here and convert it into this. Um, this is just a styled version of this, uh, well, it is static Facebook content at this point. And there is a file associated with these videos. Um, it will be linked. And what you see is that I've created some plain old uh, semantic markup HTML over here that represents a feed or the result of a feed from Facebook. Now, although this is static, this is what we're going to base our search interface on. So uh, if we work from the perspective of the end result of the end HTML, um, and not even worried about the functionality yet, just the style, we'll be able to get the CSS that we need to get a nice looking search result like this that once we actually complete the functional component of our project we could just embed our CSS code and it'll look pretty good. Now we have to be realistic. We're working with static HTML meaning that we already know that this content has a fixed size or fixed amount and um, when you take your code, your CSS, and bring it into a situation where the content is dynamic, inevitably you're going to have to make some final tweaks to accommodate some of the unknowns. But as we're working through this project, we'll try to imagine as many uh, unknowns uh, as possible and accommodate for them. But just know that um, what we finish with here probably represents about 90 to 95 percent complete CSS. We're only really going to be able to fine-tune this when all the components are together.